Hi, this is Chef Patrick Schultz with Kettle Cuisine. Today I'm going to show you one of our newest sous vide proteins. It's our item code number 710, 710 braised beef short rib and demi glaze. Comes into you frozen, each individually pouched. Once thawed out, 21 day shelf life under refrigeration. To heat up, you throw it in a steamer or a rolling pot of boiling water for 10 to 12 minutes, and then you'll open it up and you can make your own signature sauce. So today, that's exactly what we're doing. We're taking baby portobello mushrooms that I've been sauteing in grapeseed oil, and we're gonna add fermented black garlic. This is something you may or may not have seen. This is originally done in Japan in caves, but now they do it, of course, in temperature controlled rooms. The skin peels off, and it's almost got this texture of like a truffle, but a little softer, so you can slice it into, you don't need to mince it, just nice little slices. It's got this uname mushroom smell. It does not smell like regular garlic. Very, very unique. So you just want to heat that for it. All right. And then we're going to take a nice dry red wine. It could be Merlot, Cab Sav, uh, if you've got Monte Pinot Noir, or like most of us, box wine, that's burgundy, right? It'll work. It just starts dry. About one and a half ounces, two ounces. Let that flambe. And then we're going to take that short rib. I'm going to take the scissors and open it up. And we'll place it on a plate. This is a block cut, so it's a little, it's a little different than our normal. We have another one, 720. It's a N to N on the, on the chuck flap. This one is cut like a sirloin. Now we're gonna add that demi. And if you saw, there was a little bit of fat in there. We skim our demi gloss, so when that little bit of fat that's left from cooking that short rib, because the short ribs are oven brown first before they go in the bag, that little bit of fat will emulsify right into our sauce. They will not separate. So this we wanna reduce just for a second. I also made it au gratin here, Ooh, it's still a little warm. It's a uh, Hatch New Mexican green chili au gratin. So heavy whipping cream, a little bit of garlic, a little bit of salt, pepper, and Hatch New Mexican green chilies. Very simple, you can do this in larger amounts for service. And then I've got some, some parsley here. And that sauce is done, I can hear it. And if you want to make it a little richer, just one little knob of unsalted butter. And you mount that and you turn the heat off, it'll Again, because we skim that demi, it, it will not separate. And this is a way of adding a little bit more flavor, richness to the sauce. If you add heavy whipping cream, then you end up with a cream-based sauce. We don't want that, we just want the sheen from that, that butter. And then you just take and spoon a little of the mushroom and fermented black garlic over there. You can also put a vegetable of your choice, but for today's purposes, we're not. If you need any other of your questions answered, please don't forget to reach out to our Kettle Cuisine staff or our broker partner, Key Impact. Thank you.